Okay, so welcome to lesson six. This is uh, will be a bit shorter than the last one, um, and uh, uh, you recall this view of this block of flats that we're using to uh, as a demonstration model. Um, and in the last session, we touched on on layer links, um, just to just to demonstrate, in fact, that that of course. Um, uh, the floor plates are located directly one on top of another. Um, so uh, this is just called mass cellar one because it's a massing model. Um, so there is two, you can see it's directly located on top of the other, therefore paste in place. If I want to move um, uh, something from the first floor to the tenth floor or whatever it is, it'll go back in the right place because the um, uh, floor plates are uh, overlaid precisely in the correct position and that's controlled by a grid um, and that is why when you look uh, at the front view uh, which in this, in this case it's the right view um, the thing stacks up um, and we just showed you how um, because the upper floors um, repeat um, they are layer links, uh, simply uh, duplicated vertically. Um, uh, turn some lights off here. Uh, the light spot, um, um, uh, yeah, uh, by the um, uh, layer elevations, which are um, um, between the first floor to eight oh five. So. Uh, uh, the the distance between each layer link um, is is two eight oh five. Let's just check that. Um, just so we're can be sure of that. Uh, it, it, actually, it might be that might be to the underside of the slab. Um, I don't know. Take a take a take the corner of a window. Uh, yes, two eight oh five. Right. So um, that's how do you do that? Uh, so let's make a new layer. Uh, and we'll call it test links. Um, let's make test links. Okay. Um, and we'll, for the sake of argument, let's put it at the same layer as, as layer two. So it's five six ten, which of course is the first floor plus two eight oh five. So it's five six ten uh, test links. Um, okay. And I uh, just check I've got the right scale on. Uh, yes, I have. It's one to fifty. That's fine. So um, it's elevation. Uh, we said five six ten. Yes, five six ten, um, and its wall height to five forty. That's correct. Okay, so that's great. Uh, and we'll just look at this um, um, active only. So, so what what you do? Uh, put you know, put generally put your layer links in class none. Then they won't. None is always on. Um, it's very simple. View, create layer link. Yeah. View, create layer link. Okay. Um, planar objects are two D things that are uh, layer in the layer plane, so they move around. Screen objects are they're static. They will always be fixed to the screen. You can put those on if you need them. I don't need them um, in this. So what am I looking for? I want um, I want the massing level of and the cladding layer. That I, these are on. I just happen to have separated the cladding from the, the from the from the massing for good reasons actually because I was using um, spaces uh, as a di in the, as a, as diagrams. So you select them. But I just held down the shift key and select both of those. Ping. Okay, two layer links. Right. Um, now um, they're locked. Okay, they're locked. Look in the front view. Uh, so let's say I want to uh, move those, move 3D. Notice the keyboard shortcut I have there, Apple Option M. Or oh, is that's the, that's the default one. Um, now I can't move it, so I wanted to move it to 805, uh, wasn't it? It's not going to let me because they're locked. So it's very simple. Right click and unlock. Right now, do it. Okay, 
Now duplicate array uh, will have not 17. I can't remember how many floors I've got here, but let's say there's eight. Cartesian offset, no, is zero. Why? And so we want two, eight, oh, five in the Cartesian offset. Um, is it? I'm never quite sure whether it's the active layer plane or not. Um, yes, it is. Uh, I, there's there's a reason for that. So I'm not terribly not terribly clever about whether it's the active layer plane or the working plane. But um, so just if you. you if it doesn't work, you'll see they'll go. They might go in a different. They might duplicate in a different plane. Um, so uh, duplicate array, uh, working plane. You see, it's not in the working plane because the working plane is, um, in this case, is not the screen plane. So um, that's 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 what's happened there. Um, <clears throat> now there is another way of doing this. Um, let's delete those. The other thing you can do is to um, uh, make a design layer viewport, um, um, create viewport, right? Now, this is a viewport in a design layer. It works very similar to um, layer links, um, but it has certain advantages over the control because you're controlling the visibility and the attributes in the viewport. Um, they can, I don't use them terribly much but um, they can be useful uh, as an alternative way um, of doing that same thing. Now please name your viewports so the VP. If you don't name them you'll never know which viewport contains what content without opening it. So in the, in the, in the, in the, which is over here, one of these tabs across here is the viewports list. So please name it viewport, and because it's in a design layer, give it so it, it may make it DL. Okay, VPDL, and we'll just call it. Let's just call it floors. So we're just going to have some viewports of 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 the floors, of ground, and first. Um, in fact, uh, in this case, we want to duplicate it to create the mm, repeating stories of of of, of floors. Um, so it's, it's two plus. It's everything above the second floor plus. You know, floor two plus. Let's let's call it that. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna put it on a design layer. Um, we've already done that test length, right? So the various things disappear because it's not going to be a paper space or sheet layer viewport, right? Display pane or object. I don't really want that on. And that's it. Okay. So now this thing. Um, ah, right. Okay. So uh, it's in class none. It's got layers in it. Oh, it hasn't got any layers in it. Whoops. I forgot to put the layers in. What layers did I want? I wanted the the cladding on the first floor and the mass on the first floor. That'll do. Um, okay. There. Right. We've gone over there. Why is that? Because we're looking in the front view. Um, Right, fine. So, in theory, I mean, this probably isn't a terribly clever way of doing what I want it to do. Um, but if uh, so, I'm on active only, right? So, if I want to switch on the uh, um, see it w with other layers switched on, that's fine. So long as I've got a uh, unified view switched on, which basically means all the layers are in the same view. Um, always keep that switched on. There's only a couple of reasons why you don't have to, is because there's one or two tools, like um, um, the the split tool doesn't work in 3D uh, with that switched on. Anyway, there's a detail. Um, so let's now look at uh, uh, show others. Okay, so it's in the right place where the other um, things are there. Um, and it's this viewport contains uh, layer one and uh, uh, floor one and floor two. Um, so if I switch those on, they'd be um, ah okay. No, uh, the, 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 they're they're lower down than that. Um, so you know, again, I can just move it up or down, um, and I can probably just duplicate it as well. Uh, yeah, active plane. Okay. Boing. Right, so it, it, it kind of does the same thing. In this case, I would use layer links um, for this purpose. So let's look at the 
uh, elevation EVE, elevation east, elevation north. Okay, um, simple kind of uh, stuff. All the, the layers are on. Uh, I've got some lights on. I've got a heliodon at lunchtime. I have three heliodons um, uh, at lunchtime and a morning and an afternoon, generally speaking. But um, this is a subject for another for another day. Um, what's highlighted is something stuck in the cores layer, just the, the, the lift shaft. Um, so you know, and then and then um, uh, LB one. I mean, uh, we we'll, can come up to this. I just keep things as simple as they possibly can. L zero zero is the ground floor. L zero one is the first floor. LB one is the first basement or below the ground floor, and so on and so forth. EV means elevation, and SX means section. So here's a section cut from the east west of course the clip cube is on to do that um, and it saves the clip cube uh, thing and as it's, it's, it's not 100% uh, reliable on that um, uh, sometimes clip cube saved clip cube just suddenly disappears and you've got to cut it again which is easy enough for me to spin into if I turn that off and keep the scale the same just spin into the right isometric dude, don't do anything else put your, put your clip cube on and uh, take it to the position you can control the distance exactly so here we got minus 32 um, meters uh, we're going to make it minus 35 meters and it'll go to the right place sometimes it gets a bit lively this clip cube thing and then return to that view um, probably was it the front view, yes uh, and it'll be in the same position so that's that's easy um, and then of course you want to change that into perspective so just go normal perspective and bing you're in um, normal perspective uh, and you can come out and then you can precisely control the viewer height uh, here we've got 13 meters 580 let's make it 15 thousand whoops not hundred fifteen thousand and so that will take me to you know uh, control here's an isometric there's just the structure so there's a lot of classes switched off um, and quite a lot of classes are greyed out here um, same layers but just classes so the claddings and walls and stuff are switched off and um, and there you are you're in control you're in control Thanks for watching.